Good afternoon and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please do hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing okay on this evening. I know that I am. I always express the importance of hitting the like button because the like button helps to keep the video on the algorithm, okay? So like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those great things, okay? I wanted to talk about yesterday, downtown Memphis had a a B threat at the federal building. Now, you know, I think it's a shame, you know, um, what people do with the energy, especially with all of the chaos, you know, that is within the city of Memphis at this point. But this is something that they've always done. You know, when I was working for the PD, they would always, they would call and they have to act on that. They have to take it seriously as if it's going to happen, whether it happens or not. People used to call um, the police department and say that they was getting ready to drop a BOMB on the Arkansas Bridge, the Memphis Arkansas Bridge, and you would have the police, they would call Arkansas, West Memphis, Arkansas, and they would flood the bridge, right? Same thing. We used to have to evacuate the police department because getting 911 calls talking about they get ready to um, drop a drop one at the police department so we all be standing outside for, for you know for however long until at 201 until they got the building you know they had people to come in uh to look at every um office and room and bathroom in the building they start from the lower level of 201 all the way up to the 12th floor okay after they removed everybody out and checked around the building and that's just something that people do all the time but you have to be careful because uh sometimes when they're getting ready to do something they will call and fake it and then um they'll they'll do that right normally they've started tracing those people and they get arrested they think they can't be traced but they can't um especially when it's something that serious because they don't know if it's some type of terrorist or what but sometimes, you know, people are so crazy when they get ready to do something, they will uh, call and, you know, say things of that nature, you know, say that it's getting ready to be a threat. Uh, they get ready to drop one and then they don't. And then like a week later, they do. So it always keeps them on high alert. OK, but it says that there was a BOMB found. There was no MB, BOMB found. And y'all know I have to spell it out. I think downtown federal building was evacuated due to a threat on Tuesday morning. Memphis police responded to the threat at 1020 a.m. at uh, 80 Monroe. Officers made the scene and evacuated the people in the building. Two people were detained as part of the investigation. They already got them, child but have been released according to MPD. Um, so, yeah. You know, I hope this is not an indication of something to come. They did detain two people, so I'm sure they was able to trace them. You know, when it's situations like that, they, they stop at nothing to trace them because that's a security, definitely a security risk. You know, um, they use stuff that they, um probably don't normally use to, to to trace them so um i'm sure they are up under they'll probably be up under surveillance for a while now and they need to be you know but a lot of times you have teenagers and stuff doing it it's all fun and games um people are are crazy though you know you you can never um say what a person will and won't do but it seemed like they got them quick, right? I also want to talk about, you guys, uh, of course, the uh, funeral of Big Juke is going on right now. And you have uh, Blackwood News out there. I was looking at um, Facebook and I saw where they had pictures of the snipers being on top of the building and all of that stuff. So, um, hey, it's going on. Um, my subscriber, um, I didn't get a chance to do a video on it. But he sent me a message at a probably about, let me see, about nine o'clock this morning saying that uh, he said that, that they were at Privé. So they had lined up at Privé. Let's see what time he sent me that message. Um, 
what's uh, uh, at 1023 um, saying that they were lined up at Privé. And of course, y'all know Privé is just right down the street from um, New Direction Church. Of course, Blackwood News is out there. So we'll talk about it later today. OK, but I did. I wanted to touch on that um, because people were asking me uh, about the BOMB threats and was it with Big Duke's funeral? No, it was with the federal building, uh, downtown Memphis. And um, hey, they usually on stuff like that, they they use top notch uh, intelligence, top notch intelligence to get the people immediately. And you see that they detained them, and I'm sure they will be up under uh, surveillance probably for the rest of their lives, even if they were just weirdos that like to do crazy things like that because they always do stuff like that um but you you always have to take it seriously because uh there have been situations where they said that they was gonna do it and they call the police department call 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 and i'm talking about in other areas and then later on like a month later two weeks later they do do it that's the reason why they take it uh so seriously because you don't ever know what a person is thinking I uh, did it have anything to do with Big Jug. People was asking me that. No, it, it was just some weirdos. Uh, whenever they, you know, it's always the police department and the feds. They always want to do that. It happens at least a couple times a year, if not more, um, that they call and get those threats. And they have to handle, they always take them very, very seriously. And the people are normally arrested. Okay. So anyway, y'all, uh, when I get back, um home i i'm gonna try to do another video because I, I felt uh inspiration coming on i almost put it in this video right maybe i should you know since it's only a six minute video because i already got to the meat of things and um i just wanted to say always always just you know everything is a process let things happen and when you let them happen um, especially if your spirit is right, you pray and your spirit is right. It always falls in line, right? Even when it don't look like it's going to be right, you go, dog, I know I, my spirit is right. This, this, and that. Sometimes God will take you on another path just to get you to the road that you're supposed to be on, right? Sometimes when there are detours, we think we're going down the wrong road, but sometimes God will take you down another road to keep you from a disaster, Right. Especially when we feel like we're on the road that is going to get us there quicker. Sometimes there are detours in the road to get us there. When you're talking about all types of evilness and jealousy and all of that, God will hide you and you take the long way, but you still get to the same destination. Right. Which is why I would call the promised land. Right. Um, and when I say the promised land, I'm just talking about your blessings. Right. Of what you're supposed to of what you're supposed to get right um but you you'll get there you still get there it's always the same and a lot of times when you when there's a detour you learn right to appreciate what you get ready to get when you get it because you've had to work harder you've taken a detour you've had the opportunity to pray harder you've had the opportunity to see people fall off that started with you they think that you ain't going to get it all. I, I can't go through this with them. Mm, this right here. They, they going down the wrong road all the time. God is giving you the opportunity to see a lot of stuff. To see those who you thought was with you fall off. Um, all of that good stuff. Right? So trust the process. Everything is a process. Trust the process. Hey, I'm seeing that right now. I've had a lot uh, of people to, to, to fall off. Right? Which is cool. You know, I still got, um, I've, I've, I don't, I normally don't let new people in because I'm very guarded because I've been burned so much, right? Because people don't have the same spirit that I have, right? I'd be wanting to see folks win, but I've been able to, um, to open the door even through like YouTube. Like I think about like how I have some genuine people that is truly around me. I think about like my, um, like my moderators. My moderators truly like my friend Vanessa and some of and some of my cousins that be in the bushes. They said, You got some people in your chat, your subscribers and stuff. You got some dedicated ones that's truly for you. I promise you, like it's some of them that I could I could call and I could talk to, and I already know 
that they that 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 they are truly dedicated, right? Me and Demon talk all the time. I talk to Diane. I talk to uh, uh, Joy loves God. I talk to um, I'll I'll call Long Live Janice. I, 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 I you know uh, Cecilia. I have people that are truly uh, for me. Some more that are reach out to me. You know um, that will say, hey, you know, listen, I know this, this, and that, and I think this is going it's going to help you right here because this, this, and that is going on. So it's some sincere people, and that's what happens when you trust the process right? I think I was talking about I've never had blood pressure issues. And I've been working on that because when my dad passed away last year in March, I started having blood pressure issues. And the, the, the next day after he had passed away, my pressure was at like stroke level. And I didn't even like it was at stroke level. All I know is I, my eyes I started getting blurry and stuff. And so I'm, uh, you know, I've been having to watch that. It, it got back down, but like my stress level has been up, right? It has still been up, okay? And, you know, um, but I'm dealing with that, of course. I'm dealing with that because I have a lot of other stuff, you know, going on that I'm doing, like my dad and I were doing, I'm doing it by my, you know, I'm, I'm being forced to finish out a lot of stuff and carry the torch, uh, whereas I was just his follower, whatever he needed me to do, I did it. And I enjoyed following my dad, but now I'm being, I'm the one that's having to carry some stuff. Right. And I think I put a lot of pressure on myself. Cause I go, okay, am I doing it the way my dad would do it? I go, dog, it just looks so effortless. You know, when my dad did it, he just, it's like, he didn't have no issues doing it. I just want to, I just want to make sure I'm carrying this torch the exact way that my dad was carrying it, right? And so as I, I start working on, on that, keeping my stress levels down and stuff, that's what God had put in my spirit. Trust the process. Have good intentions. Do everything with a good spirit. Trust the process and everything falls in place the way that it should. And in everything that falls off, that's exactly how it was supposed to be, right? I don't trip no more. You know, when, especially now, especially now at my age, I don't trip no more when, um, when, when people, you know, turn out to be something else or, you know, it's always hurtful when, when their betrayals, cause I've, I've had betrayals and stuff in the last year. I had the opportunity to see that people weren't really rocking with me. Sometimes people want to pimp your gifts, right? We all have gifts. I, I don't I don't toot my own horn, but I, I know I'm a I'm a when it comes to talent, I'm a talented person. I'm quiet with it. Right. I know how to make some things shake. And a lot of us, there are a lot of people that are like me. We all know how to make things shake in our niche, right? But you have to be very, very careful because as guarded as you may be, sometimes people will slide up under you because they go, that's a talented person right there. They're smart. They got this going on. They can do this. I could use them, right? And instead of being um, honest, they can't be honest because a lot of times, if you honest, um, think that when you ain't honest, things ain't gonna ain't gonna work out the way you thought that they would. Anyways, God is go, God is gonna. Uh, let it make everything fall because when you didn't do it with a good heart, it just, it can't work out anyways. And so you have to be very, very careful. And I spoke about this before about energy vampires because the devil is after the anointing. Some people are so anointed that it's ridiculous. They don't even understand how anointed they are. When you are consistently getting attacked and I ain't talking about old evil mofo. That's evil. That's always messing with people. You getting attacked, nigga, because you're reaping what you sow. I'm talking about niggas and women. Okay? Not you. I'm talking about those that mind their own business, do their own thing, and they're consistently getting attacked. It's because they're anointed. The devil is always after the anointing. They are vampires. They want to drain your energy. They want to copy your energy and drain you and duplicate it. But just try, trust the process, right? Because what you have to do is you have to keep going. And after a while, they fall off because God ain't going to let them drain your energy. They starve. And anything that starves dies. Don't feed it. You feed it when you give it your attention. Don't feed it. Let it starve. 
and start letting people, you know, uh, fall off. Hey, I don't want to do this no more. I don't want it. Okay. Okay. Don't pay it no more attention. Let it starve. After a while, you don't even think about it no more. Well, I think you had just did this. Okay. That's cool. Let it starve. Don't give it no more attention. Let it die. And keep going, right? Because you can't afford to feed it. You got to trust the process and keep pushing forward on your journey. And that's what I want people to remember. Uh, burglars don't break into empty houses. They break into, they want to infiltrate and break into things that they know are loaded with goods. And a lot of you loaded with so much talent and goods that it's ridiculous. That's the reason why they want to try to infiltrate you so that they can try and destroy you and hijack everything you got going on. But that's why you have to trust the process and believe that God got you and all of that's going to fall off. You go, dog, that, oh, that went for me. Okay. Hey, I trust the process. I can't worry about that because I know that everything is a process. I got my eyes on something bigger. I'm almost at the finish line. I can't afford to be feeding no devil my energy. I can't even, I can't even pay that no attention. That's the finish line right there. And on the other side of that finish line is my diamonds and golds and gold. And I work my ass off for that. I ain't got time to feed no devils. Let it starve and let them fall off. Just keep trusting the process, even when it don't look good, okay? But anyways, I want you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. I got to get out. I was going to do another video, but see, I was able to put all of this in one thing. I was able to go compact it okay so this video is loaded right and so when i get home later today yeah i got to run when i get home later today we will we will do a video we'll go live tonight okay i love you guys i'll speak with you later